Mandarin Chinese is a challenging but rewarding language. Learning this ancient language requires much practice and preparation. My name is Vienna Lu, and I'm here to help you learn Chinese. Welcome to Learn How to Chinese. 欢迎 When I was in kindergarten learning English, I was taught that A for apple and B for boy. It didn't take me long to memorize the twenty-six letters alphabet, and that's why I wanted to use the same method to help you learn the Chinese alphabet, also known as Pinyin. In this video. You will practice the Pinyin system by using four initials to form Chinese words. To some of you, it is not your first practice. We did one in my previous lesson, remember? I taught "po" for "b," "po" for "pao," "mo" for "mian," and "fo" for "fan." All right. The next word is "dao." Meaning doctrine or principle. Before I explain this word, let's look at how this word is formed. The initial de is placed in front of the final ao. Now repeat after me: de, 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 and ao, ao, ao. Tu ao, tao, tu ao, tao. Finally, look at the tone marked on top of the final. It used the fourth tone, so tao, 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 tao. It is tao. The word tao is famous because of the Taoist philosophy in China. The philosophy focuses on understanding the relationship between nature and humans, as the son of nature. And the best way for me to explain it is for you to look at this symbol. That's right, yin yang, yin yang. Taoist philosophers believe that yin yang is a reflection of life. Take nature and humans as an example. They are independent. Yet they cannot be separate from one another. Well, it sounds conflicting and unscientific, right? However, many people, including foreigners, like the concept of yin yang, so they take Tao philosophy seriously. Now, look at the pinyin one more time. De and ao, de ao, tao. It used the fourth tone. Tao, tao. Tao, Tao, it is Tao. The next word is Tian, meaning farmland. The letter T is pronounced as T in Pinyin. Repeat after me: T, T, T. What about the final? The final is yen, 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 tu yen, tian, tu yen, tian. He used the second tone, so tian, 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 tian. It is tian. I learned this word as a kindergartner. To me, "tian" was a simple and fun word. Use your imagination. Don't you think the word looks just like farmland? You can actually draw the word out. Finding farmland in China is easy. They're everywhere, besides the big cities and developing areas. I have a train wide video taken in China. Watch it and tell me if farmland really looks like the word "tian." Again, the initial t and the final yen gets you to the syllable tian, and it uses the second tone. So, tian, 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 tian. It is tian. Next is niang, with the initial n. 
and the final yang you get the syllable nyang 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 it used the second tone so nyang 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 it is nyang the word nyang means mother which is what chinese people used to call their mothers in the ancient time today chinese people don't use it anymore so the only time you hear people say nyang is on tv dramas or kung fu movies one more time on the pinyin the initial ne and the final yang gets you to the syllable nyang with the second tone nyang 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 it is nyang the last word is well known by many foreigners and it is long meaning dragon each time when i write the word long i use traditional chinese because it looks more like the shape of a dragon long is symbolic to royal strength and power so in the past dragons were only associated with emperors today dragons are for everyone and they remain popular to many tattoo lovers the word long is made up of the initial le and the final ong when you put them together le ong long le ong long it used the second tone so long 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 it is long before we move on to our pinyin quiz let me ask if you know what jackie chan's chinese name is his name is chong long chong long meaning to become a dragon keep in mind that here chong is not translated as Chen in English. Well, Cheng Long is not his nigo name, but whether his artist name. So instead of calling him Jackie Chan, everybody calls him Cheng Long in Chinese. That's all for today. Now let's move on to the pinyin quiz to complete your lesson. I will see you on the next video. Happy learning! Bye. 再见。